We go over to Clarendon now, where it's been a busy 24 hours for the police after three men were killed in two separate gun attacks across the parish. Now, one of the gun attacks is being probed as a contract killing. We have more in this report from TVJ's Dwayne Anderson. This housing development in Chateau Clarendon was the center of attention from as early as 5 a.m. Monday, as police officers were called in to start their probe into a double murder. The project's liaison officer Craig Smith and a construction worker, Bonita Williams, both in their 40s, were shot and killed on the site. The men were at a cook shop when a car drove up. Two gunmen alighted from the car and shot Mr. Smith. Mr. Williams tried to escape through a window but was also shot. Workmen stayed away from the job Monday. The police who met with the workers immediately after urged those who witnessed the events to speak up. Even if a contract killing. You can't pass any man where you have to spray with the bullet. You must spray you too because you see. So don't bother think any of us prone to it. So don't bother think we can't get in the family and get no work on the side. And I know me after. If you're in a gunman, we are in my pass, you must kill you. The police say they will not allow the housing project to be derailed by criminal elements and will therefore increase their presence in the community. You see, the first thing, a blood in our foundation, which is a very bad thing. For there to be continuity and for people to be alive and see what the government take over here in terms of development. If we're dead, we can't see it. And if we fight for work and kill off anybody, all that is going to happen. We have an overrun on this project because it has to go stop, it has to go start, it has to go stop, and more people's lives will go down. We're asking. That good sense prevails. Good sense prevails. Everybody now go be able to get work. But the bloodletting in Clarendon was not confined to that community. Because hours before in Hayes, a motorcycle mechanic was shot and killed. He has been identified as Stefano Frank, otherwise called Yellow. Operations Office of Clarendon said the parish does not have to go down another bloody path in 2020 if stakeholders play their part. We are just six days into the new year and already we have had four murders. If this is the way we want to continue, then I, I'm not so sure what we want as a community. We have to decide as a community that enough is enough. We have to decide that enough is enough. This fight against crime has to be like a movement where the community decide that enough is enough. Right? There is no way. Crime cannot flourish in a community that cares. Dwayne Anderson, TVJ News. The supermarket supervisor accused of fatally shooting the inventory clerk, 24-year-old Chantel White, at their workplace in Mandeville, Manchester on New Year's Eve, was this afternoon charged with murder. The suspect, 30-year-old Andre Bromfield, has also been charged with illegal possession of a firearm. Mr. Bromfield surrendered to the police on New Year's Day. It was reported that about 6 o'clock Tuesday evening, Ms. White and Mr. Bromfield, who were involved in a relationship, had an argument. Mr. Bromfield allegedly shot Ms. White several times.